deer and the antelope play. And who could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider? With his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours. And Dick West, All-American Boy. Little Elk. Your memory serves you well, Range Rider. It has been years since we last met. You recognize me too, that's why you didn't shoot. Shame on you, picking on a girl. A girl? Dick, I'd like to have you know Little Elk, your sister Nacha. You've heard me speak of their father, Chief Black Cloud, many times. Yeah, but I, I don't get it. We were trying to free him from the white men who were taking him to the Indian agency in a cage like an animal. Yeah? Why was he arrested? For attempting to regain the horses belonging to our tribe. Dorcas McGowan claims we are stealing them, but he and the Indian agent are the real thieves. Taking the law into your own hands is a bad thing, Little Elk. Not as bad as having my father murdered. I intend to get my braves together and go after him again. You can do no such thing. Promise me that you'll return to camp until you hear from me. I'm going to free Black Cloud. I give you my word that no harm will come to him. Where are you camped? At Rock Canyon Lake. You have always been a friend to the Cherokees, so I trust you. But if anything should happen to my father, I cannot answer for the Cherokees. Wangu Taha. Wangu Taha. Boy, I hope I see her again. She's a beautiful girl. How could you tell? Well, I just... Come on, we've got to catch that wagon. Where white man take black You'll out. find out.
Range Rider. Hello, Buckskin's good to see you. You remember, Dick. Sure. Hi. See what that gun in his mouth is taken care of. All right, but it don't make much difference. We're gonna hang him anyway. Just see that it's taken care of. Sorry to see you here, Black Cloud. Buckskin hide is good. How'd you get hold of him? We caught him snooping around, trying to steal some more horses. We're gonna make him talk. You and Rad are to be complimented, Chris. Little Elk and some of his braves tried to pull a rescue. But the range rider and Dick showed up in time to stop him. Chain him up. It was fortunate that you came along. I'm John Stewart, the Indian agent. We've been expecting you. This is Dorcas McGowan. How are you? There's scouts for Colonel McCall. The Colonel notified me you were coming. I suppose your gentleman would enjoy a cool drink. Won't you join me? Thank you, we will. Dick, tie the horses, please. You need not apologize, Mr. West. Your actions have spoken for themselves. I'll be a monkey's uncle. You probably are. Uh, what are you doing here? I work for Buckskin. Please forget you have ever seen me before. McGowan, we're here to find out why you haven't delivered the remounts to the army that you contracted for. There you go, bud. Well, Black Cloud is the main reason. Well, put an end to the raids now. When I get through with their chief, these Cherokee savages will have a lot more respect for the white man's law. You're a fool, Stuart. You don't know anything about Indians. They can be handled like anyone else that breaks the white man's law. In the East? This is not the East. The Cherokees are a proud nation. If you humiliate their chief or treat him unjustly, you'll have an uprising on your hands. In that case, I'll call out the cavalry. I intend to make an example of this black cloud. Well, I've written to the Commissioner of Indian Affairs about this. I should hear from him by the next mail. You know, your meddling in the Indian Affairs could get you into trouble, Buckskin. I could close up your trading post, you know. But you won't. Stop it! You have no right to do this! Get out of here! Stop it! Oh. Now, you gonna tell me where them stolen horses are hidden? Asked for it. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Don't be too hasty. You get in some trouble. Don't you ever lay a hand on Notcher or Black Cloud again, Red. The same goes for you, Chris. But the Chief's got to tell us where he's hidden those horses. You'll never make him talk if he doesn't want to. I told you, Stuart, you can't handle the Indians this way. Unless you want trouble. I don't need your advice, Range Rider. I'll supervise the Cherokee Nation and mete out justice in my own way. Black Cloud will be tried in the morning and if found guilty, will be publicly hanged. Wait a minute. If that letter from the Indian Bureau would only get here. I know the Commissioner won't put up with Stuart once he knows the truth. Meanwhile, between the three of us, we'll see that Black Cloud gets a fair deal. Right? Right. right. Black Cloud, you are accused of stealing horses belonging to the United States Army. What do you got to say for yourself? Horses belong to Cherokees. Always graze on Indian land. But you admit that you helped take them. He doesn't admit anything. Black Cloud, not shame we take back our ponies from white men. If yellow striped soldiers want ponies, we sell them. He's right. The Cherokees should have the army contract. You keep out of this. You've got no authority interfering in what I do here. Black Cloud, your own words have convicted you. Therefore, this court finds you guilty as charged, and you're sentenced to be hanged by the neck until you're dead. Time of execution to be at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Prepare to carry out sentence. This court's adjourned. Does Washington know how McGowan's getting the horses he's selling to the army? That's my concern. They'll get your hide for this. Wait till I get my letter from them. Nothing you can say will change my decision. Let's go, Buckskin. 
That letter that Buckskin keeps talking about could cause us a lot of trouble. If it gets here. Sure easy to see who cooked up that horse stealing idea. Buckskin, we've got to stop this hanging. It's going to be a tough job, Range Rider. Everybody at the agency will be on the lookout for trouble now. Yeah, no. You stay here and keep your eyes open. Dickie and I'll ride out and have a power with Little Elk. Try and keep that whole Cherokee nation from going on the warpath. Good. You're lucky. What happened? Well, I stopped by to see the relay station attendant. He wasn't here. He was attacked by Indians. When it is, there were white men. Her horses were wearing shoes. Think you can drive on in? Sure, I'm all right now. Good. Dick, you follow those tracks and see where they lead. I'm going to go have a talk with Little Elk, and I'll meet you at the Big Rock. Right. <laughs> Little Elk, I thought the Cherokees were my friends. You lied to me about saving my father, Range Rider. You've heard about the trial, then? Word was just brought to me. Like all white men, you speak with orchid tongue. I understand how you feel, but you're wrong. I came here to ask you and your brave to help me save Black Cloud. I no longer trust you. You will remain here as a hostage until my father is released. This word will be sent to John Stewart at once. You're playing right into his hands. He won't release Black Cloud, and he wants me out of the way. You must believe him, little elk. Time up! Shooting star. Deliver this to the Indian agent at once. Your horse is waiting down the trail. Save Black Cloud. Thank you, Notch. Tell Little Elk to bring his braves and meet me at the pass near the Indian Agency. I'll need his help. Wait! I cut him loose, Little Elk. He is not our enemy. I find it hard to trust any white man again. But the range rider fought to protect Black Cloud from the whip. He will keep his promise to us. I hope you're right. He wants us to help. We are to wait for him at the pass. Baganasi. What'd you find out? Well, here we are. And a mile here, the mail sack was hidden. 
It had been opened, but I couldn't tell if any of the letters had been stolen. And the tracks of the two horses led right to the agency. Those two phony Indians that held up the stagecoach. It's a cinch they're working for Stewart or McGowan. They probably got Buckskin's letter. How can you be sure? You don't even know if the letter was on a stage. It'll be easier for Stewart to show it to us than for us to hunt for it. Oh, yeah, sure. All you gotta do is ask him. He'll be glad to accommodate you. You have no imagination, Dick. You see, we not only have to save the old chief, but we also got to trap Stewart. shot that sure disappeared fast. Little old Cazarine's writer. He says if we don't release Black Cloud, he'll kill the hostage. I don't like this business, Stuart. I tell you, this trouble with the Indians is going to get us in the jam with Washington. Take it easy. This way we get rid of the range rider and Black Cloud at the same time. Looks like Little Elk must have changed his mind. Yeah. We'll better get inside. Business, Stuart, taking away our guns. I don't think he trusts us, Buckskin. Just a precaution. Black Cloud is to be hanged in a few minutes. And until then, only my own men are allowed to carry guns. You don't overlook any bats, do you, Stuart? Very seldom. Come on, lads. Now, as soon as the coast is clear, make your move. It's a long shot, but it might work. Well, you can count on me, compadre. Buckskin? Right. think that you're taking a mighty big chance, Stuart. I got a perfect right to enforce the law in a Cherokee nation. Well, what about the range rider? He'll stir up a hornet's nest over this hanging. Dorcas, my friend, you worry too much. He and his friends will never be allowed to leave the territory alive. I've seen to that. I never should have let you talk me into this. Get the prisoner ready and put him in the wagon. He's on fire. Chris, you stay with the prisoner. The rest of you come with me. Get those buckets! Come on! Come the way out that window there! Over the side! Keep going in there. 
Take those papers you just put in your pocket, Mr. Stewart. Well, uh, certainly, Mr. Ranger. <laughs> I had a hunch the fire would smoke out Buckskin's letter from Washington. But finding this contract between you and McGowan is better luck than I expected. As soon as we take the prisoners to a federal jail, we'll be back for the horses. They will be ready. Now, according to the letter that Buckskin got from Washington, the Cherokees will take over McGowan's contract with the Army. You'll have no trouble with the new Indian agent. I guess I'm a little rusty. What'd you say? She says you're a little too young, Dick. But you wait till you grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> 